A decade of planning, four years of construction, and $275 million later, the GW Science and Engineering Hall is finally having its grand opening today, March 2nd, 2015. In the last decade, GW's research funding grew over 80%, increasing the need for modern labs. What was previously a parking garage is now a 14-story, 500,000 square foot LEED-certified technology mecca. Top contributors of the building waited eagerly as the countdown began and pressed the start buttons on the celebration. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser congratulated GW on the opening. A place of unrivaled promise and possibility George Washington University celebrates innovation. The building includes a teaching tower for software engineering, circuitry, and robotics, as well as labs for chemistry, biology, microfluidics, and nanotechnology. Not to mention a high bay room that can test building structures with up to 100 million pounds of force, a new restaurant, a nanofabrication lab, a new career center for engineering students, multiple 3D printers, and a new auditorium. It was way beyond anything we could have expected, just in the sheer beauty of the building and its functionality. It's great to see all the students in the labs uh, here today. In 2016, the top two floors will open for public health and medicine students. And a rooftop rain cistern will save 850,000 gallons of water each year. And a greenhouse will be completed. GW also announced a grant of software licenses from Siemens with a commercial value of $30 million to enhance the university's programs. This is not just the capital of the United States and the seat of politics, the seat of government, but it can also be the seat of technology and engineering. From just a parking garage to the closest science and engineering building to the White House, the SEH is now home to thousands of students and roughly 140 faculty members. And if anyone's worried about losing parking, don't worry. There's a parking garage in this new building, too. For The Source, I'm Holly Goldberg.